KBC, what's going on? It's LJ, and I'm here tonight, today, tomorrow, this afternoon, depends on where you are, what time zone you're in, to shoot a video for Memphis Vinyl Gym and the missus, who's usually over here behind the camera somewhere, and you can hear her talking and giggling and zooming in, zooming out, working all the magic behind the scenes for uh, Mr. And this is for your 200 soul subscriber contest. But before I get there, I have to get here, and that is to a package that came in the mail yesterday. I'm sorry for being a day behind on this. From the psychedelic Memphis Vinyl Gym and the missus. She's down here on the package. She's over here in the videos, but down here on the package. So besides having, and I've seen a couple other of the, this artwork out there, and this is just so cool. The time you take to do this and the highlighters. No highlighters were harmed, I'm sure, in the making of this, but this is awesome. So I have no idea what's in this. This is about as live an opening as they get. Um, Jim and the Misses did mention they were planning on sending along. My last video was a jazz update, and I mentioned Diodato 2. I didn't have Diodato 2. I showed a bunch of Diodato stuff, but I didn't have Diodato 2. So um, Jim sent me a note like within seconds of that video that um, hey, I have a copy of the Diodato 2 as well. And, and Mark, Dr. Deadwax, shot me a message like the next morning too. So it's just, it, it's amazing here in the vinyl community. You know, you can just say, I'm really looking for that or for this and like out from the woodwork, everyone just comes to, to help each other out. And that's just, that's awesome. So let's see what's in here. Well, <laughs> it ain't Diodato 2. So Mark, keep sending, go ahead. But uh, oh, this is awesome. So this is Elvis, the original soundtrack from his NBC TV special. How freaking cool is that? So Jim and Mrs. No, they got me into Elvis when they sent me um, over here behind John Cale, uh, the soundtrack to uh, Frankie and Johnny. And I saw, I think it was Mark, Glass Orchid Aftermath, pick this up shortly thereafter. So this is just, this is freaking awesome. Love this. And now, yeah, thanks to, uh, thanks to you both, slowly starting to find my way into somebody that, for years, was impossible, man, for me to listen to. I just didn't get it. Didn't get Elvis, wasn't feeling it. And, um, oh man, what a clean coffee. Clean. And this is just fantastic. I'm really happy to have this. So Memphis Vinyl Gym and the Misses, thank you so much for that. And I take back everything I said about it being a uh, Diodato. So there's a card here. It's a Biosite one, my birth name. I'll read that in a little bit. And a 7-inch for a band called Spent. So I am not familiar with Spent, but it's a very cool looking 7-inch. So revenging and pouring like a car. If anybody knows anything about Spent, feel free to leave me a comment. But, you know, I, I gotta say that Memphis Vinyl Gym and the Misses have a serious knack for picking out stuff that they know people need to hear or should hear or are gonna dig and gonna like. And Elvis is just um, proof, proof positive of that. So I cannot wait to dig into both of those. Guys, thank you both so much. On to, and with how much they've been traveling around lately, for all I know, they might be in my goddamn door right now. Uh, so, soundtrack to your life. Wow, what a question. That's a good one. So, and I mean, it could be anything. We all have different periods in our lives. I could have chosen something uh, Spanish. I went through a huge Spanish music phase for uh, six or seven years with, uh, I mean, just all sorts of salsa and merengue and bachata and... And I mean, I grew up on Motown and R&B, found my own way into metal and Kiss, and so I, in jazz, later on I found jazz and still finding jazz. So I talked to Renee about it and said, if they made a movie about my life, LJ, the movie, who would play me? <laughs> no, uh, what would the soundtrack be? And what was gonna be my pick would have been Wings Over America. And the reason for this is I've been exposed to Paul and Wings since, I mean, since I could walk. And uh, this album just means so much to me. So much to me that it had to be as near a mint a copy as possible. And when I bought this so long ago, and I listened to this very, very, very often, actually. Probably just within the last couple of days I listened to this again. So this brings me back to childhood, and childhood is where everything is safe. 
But Renee's point was, if there's one album that takes me through all my moods and brings her back to when she met me and has been with me since childhood, it's gonna have to be Thriller. Very seriously. I, I can't remember an album that better defined my childhood. I was six or so. 76, this came out in 82, so it was six when this came out. It, I mean, it just blew up MTV, and, and it's been all over the place. Human Nature, to this day, is one of my favorite songs ever. Pretty Young Thing is one of my belted out in the car songs, no matter who's listening or who's watching. And so, and this was her pick. If they made a movie about me, what could be played in the background? And she thought it would be Thriller. And, you know, I... She's my wife, I can't say I disagree. She's listening to a Bob Seger record right now as we speak. And we figured uh, Dave, Dave Matthews and Van Morrison might be hers, but you know, it's funny, Human Nature comes on, if you can hear it in the background. And I also can't remember a time where the passing of an artist, a legend, had more of a profound impact on me. I remember we were, we had just moved into our new house and I was crawling around in the attic installing um, Bose surround sound, so drilling through the ceiling, passing cables up and down through the ceiling. And it was announced that Michael Jackson had passed away, and I just, I crawled down full of insulation, stunned, shocked, and in near tears. And when I finished the surround sound later that weekend, or that, that day, or a couple of days later, the very first test was human nature, at about as loud of a volume as the windows could stand it was played. So just, you know, happy, sad, up, down, the soundtrack to my life with me to this day is, is gonna have to be Thriller. It, you know, it didn't sell as much as it did by accident. It's, it's not the legendary album that it is for no reason. And the same could be said for a lot of things. So Wings Lost, Mike won, the package is killer. Can't wait to tear into Elvis and that single. You guys are just an outstanding, phenomenal couple. You've contributed so much in such a short time to the vinyl community. It's a pleasure to have you guys around. It's a pleasure to see you sitting in Brandon's living room, to sit in, in um, Nathan's music room, and you guys are just fantastic. I, I truly hope you stay around for so much longer and just keep giving. I mean, I think you honestly give back so much more to the community than you take. Here's to, uh, here's to 200 more, whatever you're drinking, have a cold one, both of y'all for uh, Renee and I. So congratulations to you both, take care, I'm off to respond to a few more threads, I'll catch you guys soon, ciao.